Hello guys, welcome to another series of 2JZ Tuesday. My name is Michael Chung and today I'm going to share with you guys about how to select an injector for your engine. for the delay because I have been two weeks out to represent Suzuka to join the Elite Speedway Drift Competition on the 31st and the 1st April. The first thing is, we need to know when do you need to change your injectors, alright? So, uh, you have done something to improve the airflow, okay? for example, you have ported your intake manifold or you have added a turbocharger, a supercharger, or a bigger size of a turbo. Alright, so in this case, then you need to change your injectors. Or you have changed the fuel type. Okay, for example, from your normal octane fuel, change to E85 or AV gas or, or something like that. So when you change your fuel type, you need to change your injectors. So now it boils down to the question that what is your target horsepower? Okay, so for six cylinder turbocharged or supercharged engine, one horsepower is about 1.2 cc. So what that what do I mean is if I want a 300 horsepower six cylinder engine, then I will need about 360 cc of injectors each. Alright? So you may ask, uh, what about my four cylinders engine? What about my eight cylinders engine? Okay, so Let's say an example. If I have, if I have a, if I target for six hundred horsepower, six cylinder engine, then I will need about seven hundred and twenty cc. All right. So if I I'm thinking of six hundred horsepower of four cylinder. All right. Then I will need. How much of CC by logic? Okay, we think like this: 600 horsepower. That means for six cylinder, each cylinder can generate 100 horsepower. Then you get 600 roughly. Like that. But if for four cylinder, each cylinder you need to produce about 150 horsepower. That's the power like at 4 ag. All right. So what does it mean? Is it has a lot of air and it requires more CC. So okay, the formula is almost about times one point seven, which is about so you can get about one thousand cc each. Okay, so this is a rough guide for you. Okay, so if you change fuel to E eighty five, okay, we can know that from E eighty five we can only get forty uh, percent lesser power compared to petrol. So what we need is, we need to compensate by increasing 40% more E85 to uh, gain the same amount of power from petrol. Okay, so about five, for 500 horsepower target, you may need about 840cc for E85. Alright. So the third thing is, I'm going to share with you guys is the injector duty cycle. Okay, so what does it mean is, it is actually talking about the time that the injector is active. So let me give an, an example to explain this one easily. Okay, so let's say that the engine is running about 600 rpm. Okay, so for each cylinder, it is going through intake compression, power, and exhaust. Okay, so there is two revolution per cycle. So during these two revolution, how much time okay, it is open? How much time is the injector open? Okay, so we are going to find how many cycles per minute. Okay, remember that the NG requires two complete revolution so that it can have uh, one cycle. So we need to find how many cycles per minute so we need to divide by two so we can get 300 cycles per minute 
Okay, so in one minute there is a 60 seconds. So 300 cycles plus minute divided by 60, you will get 5 cycles per second. Okay, so we need to find what is the time for it. So that means 1 divided by 5 is 200 millisecond per cycle. Okay, so one cycle is 200 milliseconds. So, for example, if your injector is uh, is uh, spraying the fuel at 20 milliseconds divided by 200 milliseconds, that means your injectors is just using about 10% of the duty cycle. So, if you guys understand what is this duty cycle, that means it is just talking about time relative to your RPM. Okay, so it can never, never exceed 100%. Okay, so this one definitely uh, lesser than 100%. But especially in our application, the best range is to use about 60 to 90%. Okay, why? Because it's, if it is lower than 60, then it may have some idling issues. Depends on how old is the injector. Okay, if the injector is very old, then it may have rough idling issues. Okay, but if we are using more than 90%, that means the engine is achieving almost its maximum, but it is limited by the injector. Okay, so we need to change a bigger injector, or maybe we have to even limit the boost. Okay, so that in order to have a safe margin of error. Alright. Okay. So the fourth thing is we need to know that the new injectors that we are buying are they low impedance or high impedance? Okay, impedance uh, in a layman's term we just call it resistance. All right. So the low resistance is about one to five ohms. High impedance is about twelve to sixteen ohms. Okay. So if you are using uh, low impedance, remember. It is not interchangeable and you require a resistance pack for the low impedance injectors. Alright? So the fifth one is the fuel pressure from your fuel pump. Okay, this one I'm going to talk in another series uh, more about this fuel system, about the fuel pump, but I'm going to tell you guys about uh, what does it affect to your injectors. Okay, remember that the injector is just let me draw a simple drawing. This injector, there is a current. Okay, it can it can activate, energize this solenoid so that it can pull up this pintle up so that the fuel can spray out from the injector. That means it is like overcoming the pressure from the fuel pump. Pull it up and it will spray up the fuel. So this one is very important is because especially when we select injectors, we select as big as we can. So that next time we can improve our airflow, that means we can increase our turbo boost levels and stuff like that. It is easier for us, we don't need to keep on buying new injectors. And also if we are using bigger uh, fuel injector, that means this one is bigger, the, the solenoid is bigger, the pintle, the, the, the solenoid is, is stronger in order to uh, uh, overcome the fuel pressure from the fuel pump. Okay, so uh, the fuel pump doesn't need to increase to very high levels. Okay, if you increase the fuel pump to a very high fuel pressure levels, then this solenoid requires more time to overcome this pressure and let the fuel flow up, that will give you the injector that time. Or we sometimes we call it lag, or we sometimes we call it offset. That means the injectors have to open up earlier than the normal time that it should open. So that's it for today, so I hope you guys learned something from me and don't forget to subscribe if you guys have it. 
and don't forget to subscribe if you guys want more tips for engine building and hope you guys enjoy okay guys press the like button if you guys like this video and share with your friends if you think this video will benefit them subscribe for more videos and i'll share more insights of 2jz engine building see you